In this video, I teach you how to use HLOOKUP to look for a certain value in a row and then return a value from another row in the same column. Let's go. Casper from Spreadsheeto here and I want to find department C up here in the data set here and then I want to return the contact person for that department in that cell right here. So for that I use HLOOKUP which is a horizontal lookup. And the first thing I need to enter here in the syntax, and the syntax is what I need to input in the function to get a result out of it. The first thing I enter here is the lookup value. It's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for what's in this cell, so the department. Now the next thing I need to input here is the table array. And that's simply the range of cells where I want to look for the search value and return the result from. So in this case, that's simply all the data that is here. There are two important things to know about the table array. And the first thing is that the upper row that you select here must be the one that you're searching for the lookup value in. So in this case, the department must be in the first row here of the data set that I selected. The other thing you need to know about the table array is that it must contain the data that I want to get out of the function as well. So in this case, I'm looking for the contacts. That means that inside of the data set, the row with contacts must be there as well. All right, that's it for the table array, comma. And now we move on to the row index number, AKA what I want to get out of the formula. But first, if you want to learn more important Excel functions, go to spreadsheeto.com slash YouTube and check out my free training. Just scroll down the page here and sign up for the intermediate training or the advanced training here. Click the button, enter your email address, and we'll send it to you right away. So this is where you tell Excel what row you want to get back from the function. So in this case, it's the contacts row, and that is row number three inside of the data set. And the only thing you need to remember here is that row number three is not always row number three. It just happens to be in this case. If the table array was down here instead, the number three here would still be correct because it's the row index number inside of the table array that we want to return. So I should not change that to row number four if this was the table array, but it's not. So it's still three here and the table array is up there. All right. So the last thing you need to enter here is whether to look for something precisely or approximately. And in 99% of the cases, you need to use the exact match. So just select false or type it out, enter parenthesis, and that's it. Hit enter. And Marina Nelson is the contact person for department C. Pretty cool, huh? Now you can change this to department F, for example, and it will automatically detect that Pete Clarson is the contact for that department. And that's how you use HLOOKUP. Did you like this video? Please subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below so you don't miss my next ones. Also, YouTube thinks this is a great video for you to be watching next, so please click it and find out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.